Precious is one of the thousands of animals that will come to our doors each year in need of immediate help. According to security footage, we saw a truck pull up and dumped this little dog out in a filthy, dirty dog bed and left her sitting on the concrete and drove away. Some Good Samaritan called said they had found her in the parking lot of a grocery store in Columbia. They wanted to know if they should bring her in. Well, they did. And honestly, we really weren't sure that she was a dog when she first came in. She was sitting on our front desk. You couldn't make out her face. You couldn't see her limbs. She was just a big ball of just matted, disgusting hair. She was covered in fleas. She had terrible skin. And it was just really evident that she had been suffering in this state for a really long time. So our vet staff, who is absolutely incredible, just jumped in right away. They had to sedate her and shave her down, which took about three hours to get all the hair off of her. And some of it was wound around so tight around her front leg that uh, neither one of her legs work anymore. They took x-rays of her and they found she had old fractures in both front legs and a back leg and a tail. So she's not capable of walking. She can't sit up. Her skin was in bad shape. She was terrified of people. So they called me if I would take her. Sure. Even though all her suffering, her resilience was just astounding. And she built trust with her foster parents and was really just this beautiful story of this little dog that could have easily been forgotten in the world and suffered in silence. And now she's part of our family. And since she is kind of a handicapped little dog, uh, we thought what a, what a great opportunity to bring her into schools and talk to kids about having value. We put together a little program called Be Kind. And now in her new life, she gets to go out and be an ambassador for pet care um, and also to show kids um, through education and that really it's okay to be kind of different from everyone else. Well, I think I get more out of it than the kids get out of it because I enjoy talking to seven and eight year olds and they all want to come pet her and I can listen to them. They all have a story about dogs and their life and about value and about being kind and I enjoy it immensely and we hope we get to some kids where they decide that it makes more sense to be kind than to be mean to each other. And it's so important at that age that we instill these really core important values because these are going to be the future leaders of our communities and we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to educate them and to set them up to be successful members of this community and advocates for shelter animals everywhere. There's a lot of really sad cases that come through um, some that don't make it despite all the effort that we put into them, but for those that do and go on, giving those animals a second chance at a great quality of life, that really makes it all worthwhile. There's many shelters around the country that a dog like this is deemed unadoptable. So either they'll be turned away or be euthanized. Humane Society will take any animal in. These are animals that um, require months sometimes of rehabilitation and recovery. Not only are we here to provide safe shelter and medical care, but we also want to build trust with these animals because that's really what makes a difference is forming these bonds and these relationships so that we can help to find new homes for them and to match them with potential adopters. It takes time, and it takes effort, it takes patience, and it takes a lot of love. That costs money. That costs money. But you can see what you end up with you end up with a precious little dog. She still has value. Kids can connect with that. To see an animal come in from intake and to be a part of their journey um, and their healing till they find that new family and, and leave the shelter, it's just, it's such a rewarding experience. It all comes from donations around the community. We're training not only the next generation of vets, but in that mix is the next generation of shelter vets. I mean, when you think about it, it's really an investment in the future of animal welfare. You're changing lives. Every single person that's here at this event, it's every single person in this community that donates, um, that comes down to the shelter to volunteer. To really think about that is absolutely incredible, the impact this community makes on us. And I get to see that every day, and I'm incredibly grateful to, to be a part of this organization. And um, for me, it's just been probably one of the greatest privileges I'll, I'll have in my life.